Hello, I'm Gigi. Welcome to Gigi's Magic Mailbox. Did you hear that? That means something's just arrived in the Magic Mailbox. Let's see what it is. Oh, this is such a cute story. I love it. It's called the Pout Pout Fish. Now he's looking pretty happy here in the little stuffed animal. But he sure isn't at the beginning of the story. He's a pout pout fish. Well, if you have your own copy, go grab it and we can read it together. All right, let's get started. The Pout Pout Fish The Pout Pout Fish was written by Deborah Deason and illustrated by Dan Hanna. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blob, blob, blob. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hello, Mr. Fish, with your cross-town frown. Don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blob. Blob, blob. There's our favorite sound again. Let's see what it is. Ah, it's like a clamshell, only it's a drink. You could put some juice or milk or water in there. I like how Miss Clam says, don't you think you should turn that frown upside down? She gave him some pearl of advice since you find pearls in clams, don't you? Well, let's see who else the pout pout fish runs into. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blob, blob, blob. You know what that means. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. A jar of red pepper jelly. Do you know that I think the reason why they call jellyfish jellyfish is because it looks like they're made of jelly. They're all squishy on the inside and it looks just like a sack full of jelly, doesn't it? Well, I haven't tried this kind before. I'll have to see if it's any good. Let's see who else Mr. Pout Pout Fish runs into. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope a mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. There's that magical sound. I can't wait to see what the mailbox brought us this time. Oh, this 
is a video of Gigi when I was scuba diving with a squid. It was so cool. It was so colorful and the way it moved through the water was super neat. I was so excited to see it. Boy, Mr. Pout Pout Fish, he's meeting a lot of people that just want to turn that frat around and make him happy, don't they? But so far it's not working. Let's see who else Pout Pout Fish runs into. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky bulky sulking is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. There's our favorite sound. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. Uh, what is this? Well, <laughs> this is a squishy octopus. You hook it up to the hose and it's a sprinkler to play in. That's fun. I like how Mr. Eight, Eight because he has eight arms, says that that hulky bulky sulking is an unattractive trait. Man, when you're sulking and pouting, that doesn't make you look so great, does it? Well, let's see who Mr. Pout Pout Fish encounters next. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friend, said Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss-kiss fish with a kiss-kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch. Smooch, 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 smooch. The end. Thank you for joining me today to read The Pout Pout Fish. This is one of my favorites. I love how he starts out thinking he's a pout pout fish and he's just a grumpy little old fish, isn't he? And then he realizes he's not a pout pout fish at all, is he? He's a kiss kiss fish, a smoochy kish, a smoochy fish. <laughs> That's hard to say. I love the little pout pout fish. And if you're a pout pout girl or boy, I hope you turn it around too. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.